Hey, Daniel Bach here from jumpscience.com. Talking about posterior pelvic tilt and resisting hyperextension of the spine. All right, so most people are familiar with uh, anterior tilt when we tilt the pelvis forward and uh, using that to resist flexion when we have a large flexion force, such as in a squat or deadlift, right? But something you may be less familiar with is posterior tilt, tilting your pelvis backwards, tucking your butt underneath you uh, in order to resist hyperextension of the spine. Okay, so some examples of that in sports would be um, sprinting, right? People get tired, sometimes their belly and their butt start to stick out, they're getting into anterior tilt and hyperextension, and they wanna get out of that and back to neutral, so you're pushing yourself in the direction of posterior pelvic tilt, okay? Another example would be football, when players collide, right? And they're pushing, or they're hitting, and there's a large force on their upper body pushing them into extension and you want to have the strength to stay here both to be effective in that collision as well as to protect your spine now we know that we train ourselves to resist flexion in squats deadlifts olympic lifts right your big lifts have that covered uh, but when do we train to resist hyperextension uh, we do that during horizontal loading exercises so in horizontal loading like a plank Gravity is pulling my hips and my abs down, right? It wants to make me sag down like this, and this is hyperextension. I want to resist that by squeezing my glutes to tuck my hips under and squeezing my abs to make sure I maintain some spinal flexion, okay? Now, I'm going to use that same concept in a push-up, right? Glutes tight, abs tight as I do my push-ups. So planks and push-ups are two basic exercises where you can practice resisting hyperextension. Uh, getting more advanced would be like an extended plank, right? Where I walk my hands out above my head. Again, gravity is pulling me down like this, and I'm gonna resist that. Glutes tight, abs tight as I walk out. Another example is rollouts, where again, gravity is gonna wanna pull me into this hyperextension, right? And I gotta resist that using some posterior tilt and some flexion. So I'm going to set that in here and I'm going to hold it as I roll out. So you're probably already familiar with maintaining a neutral spine and pelvis position against a flexion force. Uh, just make sure that you can also do it against an extension force.